A post on X, formerly Twitter, blew up on Friday, December 29, when Mr. Ian Griffiths, the policy director for a public transport non-profit in San Francisco, sang the praises of Singapore's public transport, calling the country a transit mecca. In a tweet that has since been viewed over 2.5 million times, he added that Singapore's transport system challenges a lot of the assumptions we often hear about how transit should work. He pointed out the fare payment system, tap on and tap off, as one big difference, adding, of course in the US it's sacrilege to consider asking people to tap off when taking a bus. But here, everyone does it. Another difference is the distance-based payment structure in Singapore which he finds to be more equitable, with relatively low prices for long and short trips. Singapore is a high-income country, with average income similar to the US. So fares are cheap. Many payment options are available, by far the most popular is credit card, or as the locals call it pay with. I haven't fiddled with a ticket machine since arriving, he added in another tweet, noting how fares are fully integrated into bus and train systems. Mr. Griffiths, who has worked with San Francisco's BART B Area Rapid Transit System, as well as Metrolinks in Ontario, Canada, even praised Singapore's urban form as a car-centric one, even though only one-third of households own a car. Nothing how pricey car ownership is in Singapore. He added that congestion pricing was pioneered in Singapore, which ensures that traffic does not get too heavy, as even buses keep moving. Transit is both fast and cheap. And driving is expensive. He wrote, Even Singapore's waiting sheds, which have had to be designed with care given its hot and our torrentially rainy weather, were given notice. Massive canopies, are at every transit stop. Enough space for dozens to wait. Benches, clear maps, consistent signs are at every one, he wrote. While it's impossible to replicate the exact conditions in Singapore, a city-state of 280 square miles is inspiring to be in a place that is testing the limits of innovation. Trying things that have never been done before and forging a bold path forward we can all learn from it.